So you might have heard of it, but Flowers is a sort of hidden British gem of a drama that came out last week. And we want to talk about it to you today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're watching Total X Visions. My name's Ali. And I'm Penn. And today we're talking about Flowers Series 2. Uh, yeah, this is uh, generally one of the... In- an incredibly unique show, yeah. to say the least. It's a very surreal... Uh, Pastoral. But people um, haven't heard of it for some bizarre. It's Channel Four. I yeah, think. it's 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 incredibly funny, but also very very morbid with themes of kind of depression and uh, mental health issues Before and family. We get to that point. It's all centered around this one nice. very dysfunctional family. <laughs> Julian Barrett plays the father, Olivia yeah. Colman the mother, and two up and coming brilliant actors, Sophia De Martino and Daniel Rigby as the two children. Yeah, and, and uh, Will Sharp, starring of course as the glorious Shun. Uh, one of the the great uh, modern <laughs> British fictional characters, in my that. opinion. Um, he also wrote and directed, though, so he's yeah. a, he plays a Japanese illustrator, and it's wonderful. No, you don't say it quietly. You just don't say it. Not at all. Just grieve. So party, party. Relax. Oh, time to go. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if just hearing that might give you a hint to like the tone of the show, which um, if you haven't seen the first season, I mean, firstly, I, we think you should really watch the show uh, and we're going to be talking about spoilers from here on out, yeah. basically. But yeah, I mean, the show opens um, the first series uh, is on Julian Barrett trying to hang himself. And then from there, we're introduced after his failing to do so to, uh, to him, uh, his think, family. Do you think it needed a second series when the first series ended? Well, yeah, that's going to say. Um, the the first season goes through um, Julian Barrett's um, depression and his his, his recovery all, from it. Yeah, all of their family members' kind of disillusionment and their kind of uh, that the the way, the ways they're going to um, go through that. Um, and by the end of it, you kind of feel that that's, the story is over. Yeah. And I, I think I said in our previous review... Which, which you can watch here. Yeah, which we did two years ago, um, <laughs> that I didn't really want to see a second series. Yeah. But when I, when I heard that it was coming back, I was really excited immediately. And I think it's just because I'm, I was just really excited to see the characters again. Because, you know, um, they're really memorable and I really liked um, seeing their story on the screen. And it didn't feel superfluous. There is yeah. genuine development, and there's a, a story which makes sense. The ca- I mean, let's talk. The plot doesn't really exist. In that there is yeah. there is a story being told, but it's all very character based, and yeah. you're looking at more of the wider family and what they go through now that Julian has been, or Morris, I suppose you'd call him, yeah. now that Morris, Julian Barrett's character, has has recovered to an extent. Yeah, the plot isn't like compl- There is a plot. Yeah. It's just I would say. A lot of the very specific plot elements could be swapped out for almost anything, and the same same story would be told. Yeah. And the real development is character relationship and character in a realization. I mean, so, what's an example then? Well, for example, um, Julian Barrett um, had gone through his depression in series one, and yeah. now he's become like super healthy. I mean, Olivia Coleman, she finds herself unsatisfied because after um, her husband has gone through his depression, maybe that because he's found himself uh, a happier place, that he's not necessarily the same person she fell in love with. She's, she's stopped trying to keep order, hasn't she? Yeah. But that's symptomatic for the entire thing in yeah. the... Will, well, I think Will, as director and writer, has stripped away a lot of the order and has fully embraced mm-hmm. the kind of the colourful chaos. Yeah, I mean, literally as well. I mean, there's, this is a far more colourful series than I think it's... Oh, yeah, re- totally reflected actually, a little shot. bit. Yeah, and also an Amy's hair colour. I, I think yeah, da- yeah. Like Daniel, like Donald, Daniel Rigby's character is definitely my favourite art because he's basically, he's given <laughs> up on his dreams. Yeah. He's become a plumber and he's sort of convinced himself that's what he wants to do. Yeah. And... It's fantastic. He, he, his continual reference to it was just banter. Yeah. It really sort of, it brings you crashing back down to the fact that this is meant to be set in real life. Yeah. And amongst all this colour and flashbacks and slightly the bum Gartner plot line about <laughs> the murders, and then you just go, oh, she's banter, mate. Mm. And it's just, it's completely bizarre how all the, <laughs> the really normal stuff really stick out in certain ways. <laughs> else is this really chaotic kind of I don't want to say noise but it's very very busy well it's it's splashy I want to say it's not right. a mess I want to call it like 
like painting with a splattered brush uh, in a lot of ways. Um, you yeah. do struggle to follow it. Like I found myself, yeah. in hindsight, it's deliberately so. Yeah. Like you, but the original, it opens with a bit of a mystery about what the, uh, Amy's grandfather was like. Yeah. And it's quite difficult to follow. And then it, it slowly reveals, obviously, that this is actually yeah. her projecting this and trying to come up with her own yeah. sort of story, which is why the... Well, but, yeah, the visual style and the editing style is more reflective of Amy's state of mind, which is... Yeah. Uh, more center, the series is more centered around her mental state. What you said about Channel 4 distancing itself uh, from the project with this kind of more measured approach. Yeah, in series one or series two? In series one, because yeah. he's, um, you know, he, he's suicidal, he's depressed, and he feels very isolated. And there is this kind of distancing effect for him as he feels isolated from everyone else in his kind of depressive state. I think that's mainly because series one is kind of laughing at the characters, where series two feels like you're in side them it's subjective mm. you're looking at it from their point of view so the, the last no longer come from isn't this a bit weird he's tried to hang himself or isn't it a bit strange mm. donald's said something weird you're now on side with them completely and the humor is found in mm. far like except for when shun's drunk for example a lot of the humor is coming from you're looking at julian barrett's reaction to that as opposed yeah. to as an outside observer you're really you've bought into the family so the best example of this is when amy is having a but basically coming down from her yeah, sort of yeah. transition. Transition? You know what I mean? Yeah. In so episode five. And she says that she used to beat up Donald. And you expect him to retaliate and say, no, you didn't. And that to be a gag. Mm. But the fact that Will doesn't use that is really interesting. Because it basically means that it's a lot harder emotionally. Because you're expecting mm. the gag. Pulls away from it really quickly and just continues this quite, obviously, serious subject. Mm. And it just adds so much impact. Because you're expecting that humour. And you're expecting, obviously, Donald Amy to be playing out. But it just it shows that he cares for her. And the pull away works really, really well. And mm. but it's so emotionally powerful because it is a comedy. Yeah. And I think series one where you're laughing at the characters, you kind of you don't have that. Whereas series two, you're fully on side to somewhere, you're completely invested, and it just it makes it stronger for me. Why can't you just look the devil in the eye and fight him? Because I lose. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't got just this right, guys, you need to go and watch Flowers. It's very, very good. Yeah. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. But we'd love to know what you thought. So let us know in the comments if you've seen it or when you're going to watch it and what you thought of the show. Yeah, and are you looking forward to a Series 3 if that happens? And what would, where, what would you want to see in a Series 3 of Flowers? But um, anyway, <laughs> drop us a like. It really does help us out as a small channel. And if you enjoy this content, subscribe. We've got two videos planned. Yeah. Planned. Oh, my God. Um, on Love Island and ABBA. So... <laughs> Give us a tick, follow us on Facebook, and we will see you then. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Bye.